Welcome to Easy Elim Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth, and today we are going to be learning on the topic reflection and congruence. And for today, we'll look at reflection. Previously, we looked at symmetry and we say different transformations change the shapes and sizes um, and the distance of different shapes. So today, we are going to actually look at reflection. Basically, we are reflecting. A certain image uh, in front of a mirror so we'll be having mirror lines also in our concept so let's look at it in details so as transformation of a figure in which each point is replaced by a point symmetric with respect to a line or a plane we usually call it a mirror line so for example you can see we have point a that is being reflected on along this mirror line to form another the point a prime we we'll call it a prime because it's the same point different distances being reflected so the distance between a to the mirror line and a prime to the mirror line will always be equal so that is what we refer to as a transformation so when you look at the properties of reflection first of all the midpoints are always always remain the same and in this case when you talk about midpoint you're talking about the mirror lines and then the angles remain the same so if if you notice this angle of this triangle uh was re was reflected on this mirror line to form this triangle you notice this angle also will be equal the angles will always be the same so the lines joining a point and it's joining a point and its image is perpendicular to the mirror line as you can see it's perpendicular and then a point on the object and a corresponding point on the image are equidistant. As I said, this distance is the same. Uh, for example, for C, point C, from C to the mirror line and C prime to the mirror line, they are always equal. So a mirror line is a line of symmetry. As we said in the previous lesson, we saw the line of symmetry because you see, this line of symmetry gives us the same image, both sides, the same distance between the image and the object from the mirror line or from that line of symmetry. So this is an example. So we'll get a chance to do a reflection of a certain triangle. So we are going to reflect on positive values along the vertices. So let's do this question. So if A, which is 2, negative 7, let's do that. So it's on the x-axis, 2, negative 7. So the first point is going to be here. And then B is 2, negative 2. So the second point is here. And C is 7, negative 2. So if we join these uh, three points, make sure yours is perfect. We are going to form, we say this is A and this is B and this is C. This is the object. Uh, the vertices of a triangle find the image of the triangle at a reflection in Y is equal to 1. So you go to where Y is equal to 1. This is where Y is equal to 1. So this is where our mirror line is going to be. So that is where we reflect, we are going to reflect along. So you draw it using a ruler. Make sure you ask it with a ruler. So we are going to reflect these images to get uh, the object to get the image along this mirror line. So the first point we can start with B. You see B from the mirror line has is moving how many points? You see it's one, two. So from the mirror line we need to move one, two. So one two and then the that so one two so it's supposed to be here so our b prime will be here and then our a from the mirror line how many points one two three four five six seven eight so we do the same one two three four five six seven eight so our a prime will is going to be there and then uh 
C from the mirror line is the same distance with B from the mirror line. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3. So it's 1, 2, 3. So the image will appear. So if we join these points, let's join them. So you have, this is going to be a B prime. This is C prime. This is A prime. So that's how we reflect it along y is equals to 1. If we do it along x is equals to 3. So let's show that now. Let's wrap the first image of the prime um, along uh, a prime, b prime, and c prime. We get another image. So x is equals to 3. So x is equals to 3 will be here. This is our, our mirror line. So let's draw that mirror line. I use a ruler. Right. So you notice our B is on the other side of the mirror line and our C. So do not be worried. So you notice we have one step. Point B from the mirror line. So we are going to do that. So this is the mirror line. One step, it's going to be here. So this is going to be on our B double prime. And then our C is, let's see how many points from the line. So it's one, two, three, four. So let's do the same. One, two, three, four. It's going to be here. And then our A is one step from the mirror line. So we do the same. So it's going to be here. So we have our A double prime. We have our B double prime and we have our, this is supposed to be here, not here. So B double prime and then C double prime. So when we join these points, they are going to look this way. Use a, 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 a ruler in your case. Mine is not that perfect, but ensure that your triangle is drawing. So you get this image, but you can see along y, x is equals to 3. So let's do the same uh, thing uh, with a different value, which is negative. So let's work this out. So let's draw the, the object first. We said it's 2, negative 7, the first point is here and then 2, negative 2, and then 7, negative 2. So let's join this point. Great. So we have A and uh, C. This is B. Our uh, A is here. So we want to reflect this under the mirror line, y is negative 2. So we just come here. This is the negative 2. So let's use a different color. So y negative 2. So this is going to be our mirror line. You see it's almost passing on some points on the image. So since our B is not moving, our B prime will be here and our C prime will be here as well. But our A is moving how many steps from the mirror line? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We do the same. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it's going to move here. This is going to be our A prime. So we join the points. So that is our image. So the same th process is going to be repeated for, for x is equals to negative 3. So this is where negative 3 is on the x-axis. So this is going to be our mirror line. So let's reflect that image using a different color. So from B, Let's look at the number of steps. So it's from the mirror line. This is the mirror line. So one, two, three, four, five. So we do the same. One, two, three, four, five. 
so our b prime is going to be here and then our c prime from the mirror line is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so you notice you don't have that but you notice your image is going to be on this side of um, the line so you can practice that and see if you are going to get the same value so finally we are going to do the same reflection but now along the y uh, x is equals to y and x is equals to negative x so we will start with the image as it was which was a uh, two negative seven so the first point was here and then two negative two and then seven negative two so this was our a a b and c let's join that Make sure you use your ruler. So we are going to reflect this on y is equals to x. So someone can ask y is equals to x. So you can create a small table here to help you to understand where the line is going to be passing through. So if the value of x is 0, y is going to be 0. If the value of x is 1, y is equals to 1. If the value of x is 2, y is, equals, is going to be 2, and so on and so forth. So let's show that. So when x is 0, y is 0. So the first point will be here. When x is 1, y is 1. So you can see where the line is going to 2, and then 3, and then so forth. In the same case with the negative. If x is negative 1, y is negative 1. If x is negative 2, y is negative 2. So you notice this is going to be our mirror line. So this is the line of y is equals to x. And if it was y is equals to negative x, the same case would be applied. If x is 0, y is 0. If x is negative 1, y is also going to be 1. As you can see, if you put x as negative 1, y is equals to be 1. So you see the first point here is going to be here. So if x is equals to negative 2, this is going to be 2. So you see the second uh, point is going to be here. So this is going to be your y is equals to negative x. It goes in the opposite direction. So let's work out for the y is equals to x and then you can go ahead and work on y is equals to negative x on your own. So let's join this uh, point to this point to form the mirror line. Use our ruler. So this is the y is equals to x. So our image, the point B, as you can see, it's the same distance with the mirror line, but it's how many points? One, two, three. So we move again one, two, three. So our B prime will be here. And then our A, there are different ways you can be able to work out for A. So, so we can uh, alternatively remember our B is going to be. If you were to draw directly, it's going to be along this line, like we said. So alternatively, what we do, you count the number of squares to the line directly. So like B is here, so you count 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 to the mirror line. So you go down in the same number. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So our B prime will be here. Same case with C, as you can see, C is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then 9. So 1, so for the B, we said it's 1, well, 1, 2, 3, 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So for C is 9, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 10, then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then for A, we do the same. 1, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. The same case. 
one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then it comes here. So when you join this point, so this is our A prime, this is our C prime, you notice our image, as you can see, is going to be up here. As you can see, if you draw the diagonals, you notice it's directly on the uh, mirror line. So remember how we count squares? You just count the number of squares from the mirror line and then you go down with them. So that's how we get for the value of x, y is equals to x. The other side is y is equals to negative x. You can try that out on your own. So you can check out more revision questions, especially on reflection. You need to do a bit of more practice for you to understand the concepts and also not on the same. So see you in the next video.